All right. Let's have uh, another uh, situation. This is a past board uh, exam. Uh, very familiar. Pero ulitin lang natin. Oh. To construct the deck of a bridge over a deep ravine, steel beams spaced at 2.2 meters on centers and simply supported on a span of 19 meters are used to support the construction loads which include temporary formwork, uh, temporary formwork and construction life loads equivalent to 4,000 pascals. At this stage, only the steel beam carries the loads. After the slab has hardened, sufficient shear connectors welded to the beam planges provide full composite action with the steel beam of the steel beam with 0.15 millimeter, uh, 0.15 meter thick cast in place concrete slab. Okay, haba yung problem. Pero ano ba yung thought dito sa problem na to? No? So bali yung uh, we co they constructed the, the deck uh, but since the ravine is deep, they cannot put uh, supports during construction. So what is being done is ni lay out yung beams uh, 19 meters long without any support and then during construction, all the loads, including the weight of the beam, the concrete, the construction loads, are supported by that beam. Wala siya mga tukod. No? Unsured construction siya. Okay? And that is the first question. Determine the maximum bending stress in the beam due to beam weight, which include uh, the dead load, which include the beam weight, the slab, and the wearing surface. And the construction loads of 4,000 Pascal. So, yun yung unang tanong. Tinapa compute yung stress in the beam during construction while the concrete slab is still wet. No? Hindi pa siya nag-hold, uh, nakakatulong doon sa ating beam. Okay, sige. So yun yung unang tanong. Given yung properties ng concrete, anong uh, section, no? given lahat. And then for composite action, now use 1.8 meter effective plants width of the beam. Okay, sige. So we have here... So yung beam natin, initially, we will do part 1 first. 19 meters long. Kunin natin yung total weight, total load, uniform load during construction. Alright, what are those? Una, yung beam weight. 152 kilogram per meter yung kanyang weight. No? Gawin natin kilonewton. So times G divided by 1,000. Ito yung beam weight. 1.491 kilonewton per linear meter. Alright? Next, ang weight of concrete. Okay? So, yun natin kilonewton per meter. So, that will be unit weight times the cross-sectional area. The unit weight is uh, 24. The cross-sectional area is the spacing of the beams, 2.2 meters, times the slab thickness, 0.15. Ito. Alright? 7.92. Okay? Now, other than that, itong given dito, yung formworks and construction live load, which is 4,000 Pascal, so how will you get it, convert it into kilonewton per linear meter? You multiply that by the spacing of 2.2. Okay? 4,000 times 2.2, so that's 8,800 newton per meter or 8.8 .8 kilonewton per meter. And the wearing surface of 610 pascals. So 610 times 2.2 pa rin. Alright, gawin natin kilonewton. Okay, so 1.342. So ito yung 1, 2, 3, 4. Ito yung nagko-comprise doon sa load in the beam during construction. Alright, so and that's the first question. So the total load now is 1.491 plus 7.92 plus 8.8 .8 plus 1.342. That's 19.553 kilonewton per linear meter. So makuha natin yung maximum moment caused by that. So simply supported man yan. So WL is number 8. And the bending stress. Alright, so MC over I. Your C is kalahati ng 688. Moment times C over I, yung IX. Okay, so yan. 202 mega Pascal. So the answer here is letter A. Okay, so yung part 1 medyo hindi masyado complicated yun. Yung loading lang, no? baka may ma-miss out ka doon sa load. Now, pangalawa, ito na. So, determine the maximum tensile stress in the beam due to may track ng dumaan. Ibig sabihin, tumigas na yung concrete. And as you read the problem, may role ang concrete in the strength of the beam. 
Ha? Kasi sinabi nito, after the slab has hardened, sufficient shear connectors welded to the beam flanges will provide full composite action. So magiging composite na yung beam. Na? Uh, part of that, the, the top plants, concrete, and then the beam sa ilalim. Na kukomputin natin yung property noon. Ha? Tapos sinabi dito, for composite action daw, use 1.8 meter effective flange width. So we will not use the 2.2, only 1.8 meters effective flange width. Kukunin natin yung property, composite action. So binigay niya dito yung modular ratio 9. May modular ratio tayo 9. Okay? Sige. So let's move to the next slide. Ito yung ating beam. Ito yung concrete slab on top. So there is enough shear connectors on that. Na? Okay? So yung depth ng slab, ay, uh, beam is 688. Ito. And then the thickness of the slab is 150 mm. And then the width of the slab, we will use the 1.8 meters na binigay. Not the 2.2. Yung 2.2 yung spacing niya. Pero yung effective plus width daw na gagamitin natin is only 1.8 meters. Alright? Ito yung neutral axis ng uh, wide plants. Uh, and ito naman yung neutral axis ng ating concrete. Uh, so, concrete. Ito yung NA niya. Ayan, tawagin natin area 1 yan. Yung sa concrete naman, tawagin natin area 2. Then, when we combine the two, ito yung magiging neutral axis nila. Ito yung NA ngayon. Na combined concrete and the steel. Okay? So we need to compute the centroid, the YNA. So this height or the distance of centroid ng 1 to the bottom is kalahati ng 688. So that's 344. And then from the bottom to the centroid of the concrete will be 688 plus uh, 75. Na? 763. So kailangan natin makuha ito. Okay? Ang pinakamabilis gamitin is the mode 3 the statistics board. So we will transform the concrete. Ang concrete na lang. Ha? Let's transform the weaker to the stronger material para hindi kayo makonfuse. No? Transform natin ang concrete to steel and then uh, we will use mode 3-2. Okay? So transform natin. Ito yung lalabas sa mode 3-2 natin. Frequency on. Okay? Sa X, ilagay natin yung I over A. Sa Y, yung Y, itong, itong Y na to, ito, at saka yan, Y, 344, saka 763. Sa frequency naman yung area. Ha? Alright, so ito yung una, 1 and 2 tayo ha, 1 at saka 2. Unahin natin yung 1, yung Y flats. The I over A is IX over area, 19355. Ito yan, IX oh. over 19355. Yung Y natin is 344. Frequency is 19,355. So, steel siya. Okay? Now, yung concrete, itatransform natin to steel. So, yung I over A natin, rectangular man yan, so 150 squared over 12. Okay? Yung Y niya is 763. Ang area niya is area 1,800 times 150, i-convert or transform natin to concrete, divide natin by the modular ratio. 9 ang modular ratio. Ito yon modular ratio. Nired ko para klaro. Mapansin nyo. Okay? So, pag plug-in mo yan sa calculator, ito yung lalabas. Okay? So, mag-bardway uh, ka. yon yung bardway. 598.68. And then, yung ating moment of inertia. Ito na. Ha? So, 598.68. O, 0.7 na lang yung ginamit ko. No? So sa in other words ito naman yung extreme concrete fiber from NA that will be 688 plus 150 minus bad Y so that's 239.3 check niyo na lang ha and then yung ating moment of inertia is 3622 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the fourth power okay so ayan oh, by the way ito concrete yan kunin mo yung ah uh, uh, I mean, sorry steel yan Kunin mo yung concrete para hindi ka na malito later on. So to get the moment of inertia, had we transformed it is uh, transformed to concrete, i-multiply mo yan ng N. Kasi dinibide natin ito by N kanina to, to transform concrete to steel. Ngayon, ibalik natin to concrete kasi steel yan. I-multiply mo ng N. Ito yung moment of inertia ng concrete na to. Kung concrete yung kukubitin mo, use this moment of inertia. Kung still yung kukumbitin mo, use this moment of inertia. Times, ha? 
Bakit multiply? Kasi dinibay natin dito. Sinauli lang natin. Na? So, 32,595 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4th. Alright? So, ito yung tanong, ha? May moving load tayo. Dalawang moving load, uh, 2.4.3 meters apart. So, compute natin yung maximum moment caused by that uh, moving load. Ito yun. PL, di ba? Uh, very familiar. PL minus PSD over 4 PL. Your P is the total of the two. PS is a smaller load. That is uh, 17.8. Ang D natin is 4.3. Yung length natin is 19 meters. Okay. Sa so, picture. Alright. Ito yung maximum bending moment caused by the moving load. So, ang tanong here is the stress in steel. Remember, meron tayong impact ka. Mamaya lang natin. Pwede, pwede mo itong i-multiply. E, dagdagan mo lang ito ng impact factor. Nung impact. Dagdagan mo ito ng 24%. So, meaning, yan siya, plus additional 24%. So, times 1.24. You can do it now or you can do it later on. No problem. You can do it anytime. Kasi linear lang naman yan siya. Okay. So, from that, makukuha na natin yung bending stress. So, kung still yung hinahanap natin sa still, ang gamitin mo, ang C mo, ito. Pang NA to the bottom. Ang gamitin mo na ay yung sa steel. Okay? So, yung M natin ito, 35. Yung C natin, 598.7 over IS. Pero wala pa yung impact. Uh, dito ko na lang ilagay yung impact para hindi na haba. No? So, dagdagan natin ng 24%. So, plus additional. So, meaning times 1 plus 0.24. Okay lang? Hmm. 100% plus another 24%. Kung 100, siya magiging 124. Ganun dyan. Next one, 24. So, ito yung sagot. Ito yung stress in steel. 79 MPa. Okay? The third question is the compressive stress in slab. So, this time slab tayo. Yung C natin, 239.3. Yun, ang gagamitin natin na ay ito na. Ang concrete na. Kasi concrete yung tinatanong. Okay, so MC over I pa rin. MC over I. Yung M natin, the same value. Ang C natin is 239.3. Ang I natin, ito yung gamitin mo. Ha? And then, of course, imo dagdagan natin ng factor, yung impact. That is 1 plus, at that is 1 plus 0.24. So that is 3.5 MPA and your answer is letter C. Okay, yan ang problem na ito. Ha? Okay, sige.